Man, there's been so much information coming out from the Tokyo Game Show the last couple days that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be booked making Monster Hunter videos for the next whole week alone. <sighs> Woo! So a couple days ago, the character creator for Monster Hunter World was actually revealed. Now, they didn't really create their own character, they kind of just picked a pre-selected character and then jumped into the game. But a couple days later, they actually showed off all the little details and the nitty gritty that I talked about a couple days ago that I was hoping to see. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this, so let's go! I don't know why I said let's go like that, but you know what? We're doing it. We're fucking rolling with it. There is a fucking... a good handful of stuff in this creator. For a game where we're gonna mostly be wearing helmets and not really seeing our faces, this is refreshing to see that they actually happened to make a creator this detailed in a game where you're really not gonna see their, their faces all that much. I'm sure games like Destiny and The Division could probably learn from this because there's a lot here for a game that you're not going to see the character's face all that much because you're going to be wearing helmets a lot of the time. But they let you make your own character and make it your own. There's not uh, overabundance of stuff here, but there's enough for me to be happy. So let's start off with hairstyles. There's only 16 hairstyles other than the pre-order bonus samurai hairstyles thing that they showed off a couple days ago. But from what I've seen, the hairs are pretty okay. I could, I could definitely, you know, use a few more. But there's also stuff like eyebrows, uh, beards, like you can line your eyes up, you can change jaw lines, chins, you can change the lip thickness, which kind of looks weird on this one character that gave me some kind of nightmares. You can also change the color, like to uh, make it a little brighter, a little darker. You can make your uh, che cheeks brighten up a little with a little more blush. You can put scars on your character. You can put different tattoos on their face. You can also change the spots of where the scars and tattoos are on. So you can like slide it up and down to kind of change the spot where the tattoo should be. And oh my goodness, do the girls look kawaii as fuck in these things. And by the way, I, I, I have no idea how to spell kawaii. So this is how I spelled it. So all those of you that know how to spell kawaii, go ahead. <laughs> Let me know how bad they spelled this. You can even change, you can change your uh, skin tone. They don't give you like pre-selected skin tones either. It's an actual like color tone palette thing you can select and you can just change it around, slide it around. And that's, I love seeing those in character creators because you can change a lot of stuff with that. You can also change the age of your hunter from young to piss old as fuck. You can change things like eyes, color, where the eyes, you know, line up from up and down. Like there's a lot here guys. There's not, again, there's not overabundance of it, and I could definitely use more, but from what we have, it's pretty good. You also have, seem to have some control of your starting armor, but there's not too much to go off of because everything is Japanese. But they kind of, you kind of see that they select different armor at the beginning and they go back to the other set. But other than that, I really don't have anything else to say. Again, everything's in kind of Japanese. So it's hard to really tell, but there is quite a lot here to really just look into and when the game when the game comes out I'm gonna probably be in my house for about an hour creating a character before I can actually play the game all right the palico creator it doesn't have quite as much as the human character creator but it has enough to work off of so first off you can choose patterns you can choose colors for different spots in the, um, the kitty's face you can choose like colors in the back colors in the side of their face their eye shapes you can make them look really cute or really just menacing and like you know mean looking kind of cats you can make them kind of bright looking and happy or sad uh you can also customize their ears i really like the floppy ears they look really adorable you can also change the color of their you know bellies and their tails like well not tail color well you can't just take color but you can change the shape of the tail from kind of i don't even know what to call this normal uh, yes sure to kind of crooked and broken looking uh, again, there's not that much for the Palico, but there's enough here. There's more than other games has for uh, the Palicos. Usually, you kind of uh, preset random Palicos, as far as I know, because I've only played up the Try and Portable Third. But yeah, this is good. This is good shit. Th thank you, Capcom. I appreciate this. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I know this video has been a little shorter than usual, but I wanted to get this video out there really quickly, and then go make my next one for tomorrow. Which tomorrow we're gonna be talking about the armors and the different types of armors they have in Monster of the World so they changed a bunch of stuff and I wanted to talk about that also I probably will talk about the new hub world that came out tomorrow too so tomorrow's video is probably going to be a tad bit longer I'm going to start editing the, the uh, script for that tomorrow 
And if you want to see more Monster Hunter content, subscribe to Trangia for more. If you enjoyed this video and really liked it, hit the like button. If you saw something that I didn't notice, leave it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, and by the way, thanks for everyone that came and hang out with us on our Monster Portable 3rd livestream yesterday. It was great talking to you guys and, you know, messing around. See you guys in the next video. Bye.